Allison Smith turned 30 years old last week, but she says this year her birthday celebration was much different. I haven't even been able to leave my house. I haven't been able to do anything normal. I celebrated my birthday and I, I, I the whole time I wasn't even in, in this part of the city, but I was the whole time just looking over my back. Smith is still recovering from a violent carjacking and assault that happened on September 13th. 20-year-old Shantae Hall is facing charges of robbery, assault, and unlawful imprisonment in the case. She was arraigned on October 3rd and released on electronic monitoring by City Court Judge Van White. Judge White says she was supposed to have the device fitted the next day, but prosecutors say she never got it. To my understanding, she went to pretrial at the building to try and have it set up, but she refused to have it set up um, and left the building at that time. Judge White issued a bench warrant for Hall's arrest. Prosecutors say Hall was picked up by police two weeks later, arraigned in Rochester City Court on October 19th, and the judge ordered for her to be released on electronic monitoring. Hall went before Judge White again today. Judge White expressed his frustration that Hall was still in the Monroe County Jail and did not have the device yet. Two hours later, Hall appeared in Monroe County Court for a bail application. Judge Douglas Randall deferred to Judge White's decision. Always will give someone the benefit of the doubt. I hope she is compliant, um, but you know, there are mechanisms in place if she's not compliant to be taken into custody, maybe have it her bail status revisited. Smith says she was devastated to learn Hall was released. It was just, again, this relief of like, okay, we're getting somewhere. They are making the right choices, seemingly. And so to then get the call right after having better news to share. And then once again, she's on house arrest.